Hey guys, so this is Ujjal Kumar Sen and you are watching Ujjal Kumar Sen YouTube channel. So today we have someone special. Uh, she is from Morocco. So for more details, I have to talk to her. So uh, welcome to the session and thank you very much for talking to us. So first of all, please you. please introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Firdaus, 27 years old. I'm mm -hmm. from Morocco. I'm a mechatronics engineer graduated from the National School of Applied Sciences. Uh, during my academic training, I acquired skills in mechanics, electronics, automatics, and robotics, as well as mastering several softwares. I acquired theoretical and practical scientific knowledge by carrying out several, pro uh, several projects at school, companies, internships. Uh, I held the position of product engineer in TE Connectivity uh, for one year, and I'm currently preparing my PhD thesis, working on the theme of the satellite thermal control. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, so that is that is very technical introduction. I must say that. Okay, so <laughs> yeah. All right, so what is the time right now in Morocco? It's uh, 15 p.m. Okay, 15 um, that means around 3 p.m. So right now in India it is 7:30. Yeah. That means around four. Uh, three okay, so four hours and thirty minutes. It's like Europe and India yeah. and uh, Morocco, and India, almost same. All right, exactly, so yes. <clears throat> yeah. So next question. So are you ready for the next question? Yes. Are you ready? Okay. Okay. So yes. why you have choose this mechanical engineering? Why not software? Because in India, especially even boys nowadays usually choose software engineering, not mechanical in India. So they yes. they usually first preferred mechanical. I mean, first prefer CSC, computer science, not mechanical. But being a girl, why you choose uh, mechanical, not not software? When I was in high school, hmm. when someone mentions mechanical engineering, the first image that pop up in my mind is a mechanic in shop uh, with the greasy fingers and scruffy jeans, okay. a screwing boss from car, tire with spanner. After uh, graduating high school, I did some research and then realized that the truth is totally different uh, since. Um, since I love math and physics and was passionate about the, the technologies, I said, go ahead, Ferdas, you can do it. I really wanted to discover the world of mechanical engineering uh, by curiosity. And also, I, I take it as a challenge. I wanted to complete, my, uh, to complete myself uh, first. Now, I uh, believe that the mechanical engineering is a good choice uh, for girls as it's for boys. Uh, the only condition is being you love what you learn. So I can gladly say that all this mechanical is difficult for girls. It's nothing more than a myth. And I'm really proud about it, uh, of it. Okay. <clears throat> all right. So uh, now, what are the challenges nowadays you are facing being, being a PhD scholar? What are the challenges you are facing nowadays? Uh, challenges. Yes. Sometimes uh, there is a lack uh, of motivation. Mm -hmm. It's dips and peaks along mm -hmm. the way, mm -hmm. but it's easier to motivate yourself when when you know uh, where you are headed. Mm -hmm. uh, there is uh, also uh, poor time management. Mm -hmm. Something uh, sometimes uh, I can't devote an appropriate amount of time mm -hmm. to the tasks I'm uh, undertaking. Mm -hmm. Then I should review how things are going mm -hmm. and uh, spend time planning again. Mm -hmm. um, what else? Uh, sometimes I feel that my research is uh, drifting. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it might be lack of uh, focus. Then I refocus uh, on my uh, main objectives. Mm -hmm. uh, also, there is a problem of uh, limited support. Okay. So I try to make uh, uh, so I try to take opportunities uh, to build up my uh, uh, support network mm -hmm. by contacting senior researchers, mm -hmm. uh, whether they would uh, willing uh, to give me some help and advice. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, all right. So I mean, it is quite challenging, I must say, that being a, being a PhD, PhD scholar in Morocco, even right in India, the same. Yeah. I talk to many of my friends; they are doing PhD from top institute in India even outside India. So they said to me that, yeah, 
first uh, two years it's quite challenging but after then you will come to know what to do and how to do and then exactly. then it then exactly. things will become quite smooth right uh, yeah yes. those that do have done phd said to me the same thing and those that are doing phd they, they are also said the same thing uh, maybe you are facing the same thing i think so in your country yes all right so yes. now come to the fourth question uh, in india if you want to complete phd it will take uh, on an average around 4 to 5 years sometimes it may yeah. be seven years also right it is depend on the your guide right what types of i mean uh, where is the institute and uh, how your guide is helping you right and your topic also so yeah. in morocco what is the time limit i mean on an average how many years it will take to complete yeah. phd so that you can use doctor uh, right yeah, just uh, be, uh, before your name right just like for your case for those so doctor for those uh -huh. you can say right after completing phd so uh, on average uh, so, you, yeah morocco. yeah yes the three years is the minimum of uh, duration of doctoral study mm -hmm. but it can take uh, four five six years also it depends on your supervisor ah that's right yes. the same the same thing also in india all right so i can yes. see that much difference right okay so yes. coming to the next question any three tips you wanted to give to your fellow students right maybe from your country maybe from our country maybe for anybody else so any three tips you want to give yes uh, i want to say find your passion okay and get experience with what you love all right uh, be, yes be a life long uh, lifelong learning mm -hmm. never stop because mm -hmm. uh, learning will uh, positively tra transfer your uh, your life. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, the best thing is to do PhD. All right. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Because doing PhD is like open doors of mm -hmm. uh, each each of the, the knowledge store. Uh, you open lots you to a whole world of research, mm -hmm. new books, new authors, mm -hmm. new things. Mm -hmm. uh, that uh, that means new knowledge. Mm -hmm. And once you once you uh, you finish your PhD, mm. uh, you will have accomplished something that only a small person of uh, population have. Okay, that's right. <laughs> okay, that's that's great yes. point you were saying. Yes. Okay, you were right. Yes. So you were right. There's so many. I mean, there are there are very less people those who have done PhD, right? Exactly. Not even point one percent, I think. So. <laughs> Right. Exactly. And, and being uh, a mechanical engineer, it is very rare. Being a mechanical engineer is rare, and uh, being a mechanical engineer as a girl, it is rarest, I think. So. Yes, exactly. All right. You will have earned the respects of your colleagues, mm -hmm. your your peer, mm -hmm. and receive the title of doctor. Mm -hmm. It uh, will earn self confidence. Uh, and it's the, the most meaningful thing mm -hmm. in the world. <laughs> yes. All right. So can you repeat the sentence? Uh, actually, there's some kind of network issue. So please repeat the sentence. What you said right now. Please repeat the sentence. What you said right now. Repeat the sentence. What you said right now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, once you finish your uh, PhD. Mhm. Mm now, what okay. you said right so, now only, because there was there there was some kind of connection problem. I don't get you properly. Ah, uh, okay. So I said that uh, you, you will have earned the respect of your colleagues mm -hmm. and peers, and uh, you 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 will be receiving the title of doctor. Mm -hmm. You will earn self confidence. Mhm. Mm in the most meaningful way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, good. So one more question, right? So uh, I mean, uh, I will I will ask you one one extra question, but it is very simple one. I hope you can understand. And viewers, let me tell you, English is not her native language. They speak uh, Arabic, mm -hmm. I think so, right? What do you people speak? Which language you people uh, speak? We speak, we speak uh, Arab. Okay. Uh, Arabic and uh, French is our uh, second French, language. French. French. Okay, so and they, yeah, yeah, I, I know about, I mean, why people, you people speak French, I know, right? Yeah, that is why we also speak, we speak English because of that thing only, right? Because the French people came to your place and British came to our place, right? In, uh, in 17th, 18th century, right? 17th, 18th century, okay, okay. Yeah, got your point. Yeah. So, all right, so, yeah. <laughs> okay, so, the question is that, uh, what profession, I mean, which profession you will choose after completing PhD? Teaching profession or industry? Uh, personally, I prefer uh, teaching. Okay. 
I, I, I believe that being an educator hmm. and a researcher is uh, probably one of the best jobs in the, the world. Okay, okay. So you want to teach in Morocco yeah. or you will go somewhere else, maybe France? Because you can speak France. No, I mean I French want to language. Morocco. Oh, you want to be in Morocco. All I, right. I, don't know. <laughs> I want to teach in Morocco. I want to, to share my knowledge in. Uh, with your, your fellow uh, students, with, uh, right? Okay. Yeah. I mean, fellow <laughs> people. I mean, yeah. your juniors. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's really great. Uh, sixth number, yeah. last question. Yeah. Let's, let's come to last yeah. question. Uh, what are the three major mistakes you make in your life? Right. If I'll ask this question to Indian, I mean like me, there are so many mistakes I make in my life. So I want to ask you three major mistakes only. Please share, do share that. Uh, the biggest mistakes, mm -hmm. is, the first mistake is doubting in myself. Uh, before doing PhD, mm -hmm. I said, will I have this motivation all over these years? Mm -hmm. it's three years or four years, mm -hmm. I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, I, am I able to complete my uh, PhD? Mm -hmm. Um, I was uh, about to give up, uh, especially when uh, I'm listening to, to what others say about the difficulties of res research. Mm -hmm. Then I realized that what you think mm -hmm. is the truth uh, that you will live by. Mm -hmm. That's the, the biggest mistake. All right. What else? Uh, Two more mistakes you have to share. With I'm, I'm telling two I'm more mistakes you have to share. You have shared only one. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, the, the other mistake is wasting time on social media. Oh, that's it's right. Really a common hard. mistake, common yeah. mistake. It's a common mistake of uh, all, all the people mistake. in the world. I know, I know. Yeah. Yes, yes. It's really a bad habit. I mean, I mean what type media. of content you people generally consume in Morocco? In, on social media, what type of content, political content or uh, some celebrity content or uh, entertainment content, whatever content you people consume in Morocco, types of content I'm asking about, category of the, all, the, all types, okay. Of, uh, the silly, the silly content. Okay, okay, it's just, it's just going on, <laughs> it's just going on. It's just scrolling, okay. will it's scrolling, whatever it's, whatever will, uh, it will come, yes, you will just yes. consume it. Okay, okay, got your point. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, it's a really bad habit of mindlessly scrolling on Instagram, for example, uh, during uh, free time. Now I have uh, six hours when uh, I can use it uh, intentionally. Mm -hmm. All right, so... Uh, other mistake, mm -hmm. um, I wasn't a morning person mm -hmm. because I was a late sleeper. Okay. Uh, and it makes, yes, yes, and it makes me moody. Uh, and affects my uh, brain okay. uh, functions such, uh, such as uh, memory and mm -hmm, uh, decision making. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah. I wake up with uh, zero energy. Mm -hmm. I wake up uh, early, so I waste a lot of time uh, in the morning. Mm -hmm. the, those are the, the biggest mistakes uh, in, oh, in my life. <laughs> okay, one one very very simple question regarding your country only, right? So one last question. If somebody wanted to visit any good place, I mean, best place to visit in Morocco, which is the best place to visit in Morocco? Uh, you can visit Tangier, mm -hmm. Marrakesh, mm -hmm. Ifran, mm -hmm. Shepshawan, mm -hmm. uh, Dakhla, mm -hmm. Merzouk Sahara. Okay, there are so many places, uh, right? Yes, so many places uh, in Morocco that okay, you okay. can visit. All right, all right. I mean, which is the cheapest place in, in Morocco? Cheapest place? Shepshawan. Okay, and which is the most expensive place? No. Expensive? Marrakesh. Marrakesh, it's expensive. There is, there is no expensive but place. Yeah. And, uh, you can find the, the, both of them in one uh, city. Okay, thing. okay. That means it is up to you what kind of services you are looking for, right? Exactly, yes. All right, okay. Okay, for those, thank you very much for talking to us and uh, good luck thank for your you. future. All right. So, guys, thank you so much. <laughs> like this video, share with your friends, and if you are new to the channel, do, uh, do subscribe.